Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been quite a while. I have been a little bit busy doing other things, but uh, among one of the busy things that I've been doing is uh, setting up a sort of little bit of a um, hobby of mine, but I want to make some money out of it as well. I bought myself a nice drone and decided to um, rent my services. And um, so I was thinking of, of a name uh, for the company and I chose Sky Camera and I abbreviated it to Sky Cam. Uh, nice compound noun, very nice, uh, very easy to say. And um, while I was doing the design, I usually do my design by my hand on a notepad or something like that. Um, I was thinking about a font that I could use uh, where the Y could be extended completely. And obviously uh, I was looking for a nice snazzy font and the one that I decided to use is Cambria which is a, a, a new font um, I think it comes from Microsoft Office if you do not have this um, rest assured there are many ways of doing things on the internet nowadays so you just pop into a website called download-free-fonts.com and you simply type in Cambria like so and um, you will see all the different varieties of that font and the font that we'll be using is this one Cambria Bold Italic it's this one I'm not going to install it uh, because I already got it but if you don't know how to do it just by send me a message and I'll, and I'll tell you how to do it it's not that difficult um, so going back to Coral Draw um, so I chose this this name I thought it was pretty cool um, and um, I'm going to make some changes to it I'm going to make these letters a little bit uh, squeezed together uh, so it's not so so wide so I'm going to choose the shape tool uh, and simply drag towards the left a little bit like that okay this gap over here it won't be too much of an issue for the logo that we're going to make as you will notice this will will be covered in a minute so there we have that change um, and I was thinking about using um, a camera lens around the word sky here and using the Y to play a role in that the lens symbol so uh, press F7 or just uh, select the ellipse tool and press control the control button as you drag towards the right uh, I've decided to um, use a very nice circular shape because that's the the way the lenses are aren't they they're not oval but they're completely round so th there are two shapes um, ellipses we need to make one is sort of over here where it touches this part of the Y but it goes on top of the leg that's the first one and the second one is uh, I'm going to just uh, I'm going to press shift so it's the same it constrains the, the dimensions of it and I'm going to let go over here by pressing the right click button and as you see I've covered the space that uh, there was too much of a gap here and I've covered it with this now click on the inner circle and simply drag towards the upper top left like so so you've got a nice nice thick Y and it slowly vanishes into a slim one over here okay that's the first thing we're going to do so let's start making ch some changes then let's see what we do first let's do this first we're going to trim the inner circle from the outer circle like that just look, choose the trim tool which is very powerful just to show that it is actually trimmed and it's just one shape just uh, select it, draw something, uh, color it, and then uh, 
drag it away and you'll find out that it is. Now if you notice this S is behind the the lens and I want to be in front to make an effect. So uh, in order to do this you have to merely go to object and break artistic text and shift or control page up and that way it's on the top like that the rest can be at the bottom this is going to be at the same level we'll see that in a minute okay now just to see what I'm doing I'm going to remove the fill color and I'm going to select both the Y and the lens and I'm going to weld it with the first option here weld now I need to make another adjustment and that adjustment is with a rectangle here now I want I want there to be a small space here again take this off I want the hairline and this is going to cover both sides of the lens I think this is good enough yes so how do we do it just to show you what I'm doing I'm going to fill this with any color I'm going to fill this with white so this is how it's supposed to look like and I'm going to simply so again select the first I'm going to select the object you want to use uh, to trim the next object select that object first and then the, the the lens and simply trim it off and there you have it it's already nice and trimmed okay um, right now I'm going to break these two objects apart because as you see though they're separated it's still just one object see so I'm going to break this apart over here or control K and now there are, there are two objects good right now let's talk about the color the color that I've chosen for this logo is blue like the sky and um, and slowly going to fade towards a lighter blue so I'm going to start with uh, black which is usually um, the color above the clouds very 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 high up is black and I also wanted to make a sort of uh, transition between the black that you see here and the blue that you'll see so again let's just uh, let's just uh, start with black here okay and then a blue now I want this blue exactly let me show you how I got that so I'm just going to include any blue just for the sake of it and if you, if you see here that on the bottom it says a fountain fill you double click and it tells you what colors you've used you click on the on the color that you use to uh, to interact with the black uh, you down click here and then I'm going to press uh, I'm going to control select RGB I'm going to type in the exact options of color that I want so it's uh, red 102 green 153 and then blue 255 and this is the exact color that I want okay so okay good and I would uh, lower this a little bit okay that looks nice I'm going to pick this up a bit because I want this to fade away okay I'll remove I'm going to remove the the outline so you can see that it's nice nice and faded there yeah. I'm going to do the same thing here but here in order to make an effect I'm simply going to mirror this object take away uh, the outline and I'm going to choose the same color that I chose here it's this one okay that's the one good right now here I'm going to do make two two uh, effects the first one is transparency so again you start with the part where you want to start the transparency 
and you end where it's completely transparent, like that. Okay, we're going to drop it down a notch. Okay. Actually, let's drop it down a lot more. Okay. Now, I want this part over here to be white. So since you can't have double transparency in the same object, I'm going to use the interactive fill tool. And again, just white like that. Pull this up. Hang on. Just pull this up from here. Pull this up a bit. Right. That's what I want. So it's faded over here and it's faded over there. Okay. Actually, I'm going to fade it a bit more. So I'm going to pull this up. Right. I think that's it. Good. Now, uh, Mm, we're gonna make the another uh, use another s two circles inside, and I want them to be the exact same shape as uh, or shape rather the, the dimensions of the ones that I have on the outside. So it's uh, it's there. Okay, and I'm gonna shift press press shift and just simply drag inside like that okay this is one of them and this time i want to drag from this top handle here drag down and right click let go okay this here i'm going to trip and trim it off that object and fill it with black remove the outline and you should see this has to be on top. Shift this down. Okay. All right. It's something along those lines. But I don't want to see this. So I may have to use the transparency tool. Yes, actually, I'm going to have to. And you should have something like this. You can choose whether or not to take this outer circle away, the outline. If you do, it'll look like that. Or otherwise, you just leave it on. Okay, but that's pretty much the logo. Okay, well, that's it for this part of the logo. Um, that's it for this part of the tutorial for the logo. We will have. We'll have other plans to make for this logo later on. Okay, and there you have it. That is the logo. Very nice and straightforward. Uh, and uh, this is something that I'm going to be using later on to make a business card, which I will show you how it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this this tutorial. Anything uh, again? Anything you'd like to discuss or any questions? Please give me a shout.